And now we move on to the talk of the offseason. I think this is the main um, attraction at the quarterback position this offseason is going to be where Deshaun Watson's going to go. Um, a trade seems intimate. Um, we don't know his legal situation, and I don't really want to dive into that. Uh, but there's definitely some stuff to figure out there, which Watson, Watson needs to address, the league needs to address, and it'd be nice to have that addressed before the draft, but we don't know how long it's going to take. Um, we just got to wait and see. But the top destinations, I believe, for Deshaun Watson would be, number one, the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I think that would be the best fit for him. You got guys like Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, um, Tyler Conklin's a free agent, but I, I suppose they're going to bring him back. Um, you also got Irv Smith, who we really forgot about because he got hurt right before the season started last year, uh, season ending injury, but he's another great tight end, another great weapon for Deshaun Watson. And it would be the best, uh, receiving core pass catching core that, uh, Deshaun Watson's ever had. And let's not forget Dalvin Cook, top five, top three running back in the league, be the best running game he's ever had uh, since he's been in the league. I think this would be a great fit for him uh, all the way around, and I think the Vikings, uh, they hired the new GM, they hired the new president, they hired a new coaching staff. Uh, I really do think Kirk Cousins is out the door, and I really think they're going to make a big splash by trading for Deshaun Watson. Just makes the most sense. Out of all these teams I'm getting ready to mention, I really like what I see in that scenario. Now let's move on to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look, the more and more I talk about this uh, idea that Deshaun Watson could land in Tampa Bay, I just don't see it happening. Um, Bruce Arians probably just doesn't want the distraction that Deshaun Watson could bring to a franchise. And I completely understand that. Uh, and let's face it, I don't think Tampa Bay is going to be anywhere near as good as they were last year. They would have to re-sign Leonard Fournette. They would have to re-sign Chris Godwin. And they would have to fire up that offensive line, fill it up in the draft or free agency. I don't see that happening. Uh, their defense is falling apart. Uh, this is definitely going to be a tune-up year for Tampa Bay. I don't see them doing very much this offseason to make Deshaun Watson want to go there. Because let's not forget, he does have a trade clause in his contract to say where he wants to go, which uh, is a big one. And I don't even think he would really want to go to Tampa Bay. So let's move on to the next team, the 49ers. Could uh, there be a package trade here for draft picks? Maybe even Trey Lance. Just admit, hey, we'll give you our uh, third overall pick in the draft from last year. And a couple more firsts for Deshaun Watson. I think that would make a lot of sense. Would Kyle Shanahan do that? I don't know. I don't think he would. But it would be very interesting. Pair him with Debo Samuel and George Kittle. Elijah Mitchell, an upcoming running back, uh, I think would be a pretty interesting fit. I think something that we should consider. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, uh, there's been reports coming out that the Eagles aren't giving up on uh, Jalen Hurts. Uh, I think the only quarterback they would consider is Deshaun Watson if they were wanting to move on from Jalen Hurts. I don't think there's anybody else out there on the available market not named Deshaun Watson that they would uh, make a move for so, let's just say, uh, yeah, the Eagles would be in the Deshaun Watson hunt. But I don't really know if Deshaun wants to go there. Like I said, he has that uh, no-trade clause in his contract. He gets to dictate where he gets to go. Uh, and the last team I think would be a, uh interesting one is going to the New York Giants. Uh, Brian Dable had uh, Josh Allen and MVP conversations all of last year. And uh, who's to say that uh, if he got Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson wouldn't catapult into that MVP category once again. Uh, these are all 
interesting teams. Oh, I skipped one. Uh, the Carolina Panthers. This was a trade talk that interested me more last offseason before the allegations came out. Uh, whenever he just came out and said he wanted a trade. Uh, and it was really interesting. There was a trade that put Christian McCaffrey two first for uh, Deshaun Watson. And if that trade uh, is still on the table, I would uh, like to see him go to the Panthers. But uh, it's really his choice at the end of the day where he wants to go. And I would uh, very, very suddenly rule out most of these teams. But if I had to pick one, it would be, I think he was, I think he's going to consider going to the Minnesota Vikings. I think that just makes the most sense for him.